This is my braiding pattern for when I install U-part wigs. I try to keep minimal lever as possible. The back of my head is just a braid, just into a S shape. This is my U-part wig. I make my U-part wigs really snug to my head. I like it to be more like a sewing instead of, of ad clips and being a wig. So I'm just lining it up, just make sure everything fits together. And I'm gonna start sewing down my unit to the sides of my head of my head. I like to sew down my sides first and then I like to sew down the back of my head. Once I sewn down the sides of my head and the back of my head, I, that's, I then go in and sew the top of my head. This makes the unit appear real smooth and, and no bumps and lumps and it, it fits really snug on my head. So now I'm just, just flying my hair so everything can blend. If you didn't know, I did cut my leave out maybe a month ago because I was experiencing a lot of heat damage. So I'm gonna add a couple a braidless track so my hair could blend better. So to achieve a braidless track, all you have to do is create a base. But to create a base, you have to do the loop and pull method, and that's what I'm doing. And you just keep going over your base until you it can become really sturdy and snug. So you could just keep, you so you could just keep sewing over it, and your base should look like should look like this. Once your base is really snug and really sturdy, that's when you add your track. I'm running my flat iron through the braidless track. As you can see, it's really sturdy and the braidless track is not moving at all. So I'm adding another braidless track. Make sure you hold your, head, your hair really tight so the hair won't move when you're trying to correct your base. And make sure you, you could go over it as many times as you want just so it could be really sturdy so the track will I like the braidless method a lot better than glue tracks because glue leaves a lot of glue residue if you don't apply them right and this lasts much longer so I'm adding another track to the opposite side of my head just so I can, it can blend much better. This is the finished look of the installation. Stay tuned for my next video of me styling and showing you how I add volume and body to my hair without cutting any lengths. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any comments, leave the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.